All right, guys, Kenny here, Ken Small Engines. We are here with a couple of older Cub Cadets. That's a Model 149, needs some engine work, gotta work on that. This one here, the guy had it stored for a few years, won't run, it. it's leaking gas, but this one needed a battery. So what I did was I went up to my local power equipment dealer, l and in Monroe, Connecticut, oh, just great dealership. Anyway, he gave me one of these SP40 batteries because the one that was in there was an SP35, I think, a little less cold cranking amps or whatever. So anyway, this battery, ironically, is the same exact one as that battery, because I bought that one from him about four months ago, okay? Top Don sent me their new charger, okay, this one here, which is a, a BT200, and they wanted me to use it, and I said, well, I already have your Top Don Auto or RD Battery 101, which I love. I actually love this uh, charger. It's nice and small, compact. I love it. And they said, no, nah, just compare the two. I said, all right, so what better to compare the two? I've got a four-month-old battery, exact same as that brand new one. I just picked it up at the dealer five minutes ago. Let's see how it compares. Sitting for four months, not hooked up to anything. Brand new at the dealer, just received it this week. Okay, if you look at the date code. That one was made like a week ago. That was made about six months ago. All right, let's uh, start the top down. This one here, the old one. Let's hook it up. All right, 12.26, English, in vehicle, before charge, regular flooded, cold cranking, 350. All right, let's see what it says. All right, so we've got state of health is 90. Okay, state of charge 43, because it's been sitting. 12.26 volts, and usually it's about 12 and a half. 330 amp it shows as reserve 10.10 .10, now i don't know if it's milli mega ohm someone's going to correct me i said it wrong the last time i think it's milli ohm if i'm not mistaken maybe mega ohm but someone can correct me good battery okay so we're gonna take that those results there all right then we're gonna go over to the brand new one there's a brand new brand new with the newest top don so let's uh hook that up real quick Turn it on and see what we got. Okay. BT200. All right, battery test. Flooded battery, cool cranking, 350 testing. All right, let's see what we got. It's brand new, I said, just, all right. 83% health with 12.23, 318. Let's see what this one said. This one said, now it's saying state of health 90, went up. Uh-oh, just from sitting here, it went up. <laughs> 330 amp, kind of weird. It's hooking up to this battery tester, maybe because it's putting a load on it, I don't know, but it's showing better. But it still says it's good. This one says state of health 90. This one says state of health, I think it says 83. 83. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap the chargers and see if it's the same. You got 83% here. We got 90% there. Let's swap them out. Swap them out and see if they're the same. Like I said, this tester is a lot bigger than the other one. And like I said, I, I mainly use them for small engines, just checking the health of the batteries. So let me disconnect this one. All right. Let's hook up the brandy new one here. Positive, we got, uh, oh, negative, all right. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, top down, 200. All right, battery test. Regular flooded, cold cranking amp, 350. Remember, this said 90 before. Yeah. Say 84. What happened to the 90? Well, it was 83 the first go around. Still has the 320 cold cranking amps. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 84. I'm going to let that sit for a minute because it changed to 90. It was 83, then it changed to 90. 
Let's take the older tester, put it on a brand new battery. Let's see what we got. And again, this one, this is their old one, the Arda Battery 101. I love it because it's so tiny, it weighs nothing. You'd even put it in your pocket if you had to. That one's a little, little bigger. All right, let's hook this up. All right, and here we go. 12.2, same. All right, English, in vehicle, select charge, select type. CCA 350, all right. This was 83 before on the other meter. 93, huh, state of health. I don't know, guys, what do you think? What do you think? This one was 83% state, uh, state of health uh, with the other one, but yet the other one went from 83 to 90, then it's back at 90. Let's see what we got here on the older one. It is now at, still at 84. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. We're gonna try this again. Try it again. This one went from 83 to 90. Let's see what it does again, second test. 83. Uh, I don't know guys, what do you think? First time it said 83, then it went to 90 when I redid it. 84, back to like 83. Now it says 93. I don't know. Are these testers any good? Do I believe them? What do you think? Well, all I know is I'm going to try this one one more time, see if it changes. Hold on. Let's see what happens. This actually said 93. Like I said, these aren't expensive testers. It's one way that, you know, you can show your customer data. Oh, yeah, you need a battery. All right. 97. Uh, now I'm confused, guys. What do you think? Do you think because now you're putting a little bit of a load on it, it's working the battery, it's juicing up the acids or juicing and moving, and that's why it's going up? What do you think? Let me know. I'm not a battery charge expert by any means. I got the testers for free, easy to use. You know, you go over a customer's house and you stick it on and if it's cranking slow or barely cranking, at least you could show him some data, but it goes from 84 to 90. This one's up to 97 now. What's going on? Put your thoughts in the comments, guys. Maybe Top Don will comment too, but I'm, I'm just concerned if you keep testing, testing, testing three, four times, is it gonna go up to 100% on a newer battery? I don't know. Give me your thoughts, guys. All right, that's it for now. Top Don, I like the old tester because of the size of it. The new tester probably does more stuff, but for small engine related things that I do, don't really need it. I mean, yeah, it gives you some great uh, some great ideas and things like that. And those of you that are electrical engineers that know the M with the ohm symbol, is it milli mega? Straighten me out on that. Let me know what that is. Let me know what's good or bad. So, cause I really don't know at this point. So, all right, that'll be it for now. Old top down versus new top down. What do you think guys? This one's a little bit cheaper, but you know what? Look at the size, you know, small size. You got a big size. I like the small one, to be honest with you, but all right, that's it for now. We will talk to you soon.